Hey everybody, it's Trevor here with the channel where every day is range day and in this week's video we've got another review on some range pants, this time being the Atlas pants from LAPG. Let's check it out. Welcome back to Range Day, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to watch on the channel where we do reviews of guns and gear, and these pair of pants definitely fall under the gear category. Well, maybe not as flashy as something like the next cool optic or pistol that we wind up with on the channel, a good pair of range pants is definitely a piece of gear that you don't want to overlook. I recently did a video on the Stonecutter pants from 511 Tactical, and I'm definitely a fan. But one of the problems that plagued me with that particular pair of pants was I just couldn't find any more of my size. I don't know if it's just production's limited or they're actually trying to phase that model out, but I only had that one pair of pants and I just couldn't find any more. So that's what ultimately led me to buying this pair of pants from LA Police Gear or LAPG, and these are the Atlas Tactical Pants with their STS fabric. I'll get into that a little bit as well, but I kind of was looking to this pair of pants as sort of a substitute for the stone cutters that I just couldn't find. And again, as a disclaimer, LAPG didn't send me these. I purchased these with my own money about one and a half, two years ago or so, not too long after I got the stone cutters. And these came again, competitively priced at about 30, 35 bucks or so from the LAPG website. I was definitely looking for something in a similar price range as the 511s, and these definitely fit that bill. So I got them to see how they would stack up. And so today we're gonna to be going through a review of my thoughts on these pants and how I've used them over the past couple years. And I'll be talking about them in comparison with the stone cutters a little bit over that, but I'm also just gonna go over the features of these Atlas tactical pants as a whole. So let's get into it. So starting as a similar manner as we kind of did with the 511 pants, I'll work from the bottom up, so to speak. And unlike the stone cutters, these don't have any particular two-tone special material or fabric that lines your shin guards. It's just the same sort of ripstop fabric throughout the entirety of the pant with a little bit of flex fit material up top. But one feature that does stand out towards the bottom of the pants is the heel area on the back side of the pant leg it does have a double lining of the fabric here for a little bit of extra durability because that can be a bit of a high wear spot and that's a common theme in these pants as we go forward some higher wear spots are just double lined there's not a particular change in material per se but they just have a bit of extra fabric so it can take a bit more wear and tear going up the pants again you do come into another line of stitching here over the knees where they're also double lined with fabric and then we get up into our first bit about the pockets. Compared to the 511 stone cutters, these actually do have one more pocket. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Coming up from the bottom of the pants, the first set of pockets you actually can't see and they are internal to the pair of pants here. If I start to turn the pant leg inside out, you can start to see something right here, which is right about where the knee would go. And this is actually a hidden pocket that, again, I didn't know came with the pants when I purchased them. But you can actually put different kinds of knee pads or knee armor in these pair of pants. This isn't something that I've ever used, but it is a pretty neat feature that I haven't seen on too many other pants that are in this price range. So having a little internal pocket here for you to slip in a knee pad or some knee armor if you're doing a lot of work that requires something like that. This is a nifty feature to have and definitely something worth considering. Again, there's one of those on each pant leg on these Atlas pants, and that's our first two pockets of the total of 10 that these Atlas pockets do have. Moving up from there, basically on the front side of the knee pad pocket is our first sort of cargo pant pocket with a zipper that you can see right there, and a smaller utility tool type pocket on the front of it. And these are designed with a little cut here so that they lay pretty flush if they're not being used so they're pretty low profile which is pretty nice because i don't always carry stuff in my left pant leg pocket so it's nice to have that one flat and not as bulky this is a nice deep pocket on each of your kneecaps and there is a little nylon d-ring in there in case you have something you want to hang out of around your knee area something like uh, gloves or anything else you might think of each pocket has one of these rings and it does zip open and close based on what you're doing and i kind of like the zippers on here the 511s didn't have zippers it's just like kind of an open slit over your knee but the zipper here can be a nice feature if you have something that maybe you don't want getting rained on or if you have something loose that you want to carry in your pockets down here that you don't want to have to worry about falling out there's again a tinier sort of utility pocket right here it's right about the right size for an extra knife or a light or even a candy bar or something like that Again, one of those on each leg of the pants right here. And I gotta say, I use the one on my right leg all the time. I use it for a phone pretty much universally when I'm wearing these pants, either at work or on the range. It's just a good spot for it. And they're also the perfect size for a box of ammo or something like that when you're on a range day. Of course, you can put spare mags and other stuff in here too. They're just some good spacious pockets on the knees. And I'm a big fan of having something like that 
right at around that area. It's a good spot to reach into, and these pants do pretty well for that capacity. Moving up from there, we go to the main front of the pant. You have your two main pockets that you would normally find on a pair of pants. Nice and deep, comfortable pockets. That's another feature I can just sort of hit on again on these types of pants. The pockets they have are pretty generous. They're not short and you can't really use them. They're not like that. These are plenty deep pockets. They can fit anything you need, and I'm a big fan of having deep pockets. Similar to the 511s, there is some sort of reinforced gusseting on the corner of this pocket, again, where you tuck like a knife or a flashlight clip. But again, similar to the heel of these pants where it's double fabric, that same construction can be found here on the main pocket. It's not super thick like the 511 Tactical was. I actually kind of like it better on the Stonecutter pants. It's super, super thick on this particular portion, so it can hold up to a bit more wear and tear. These do have that double fabric reinforcement. Again, it's just two layers of the normal ripstop fabric. Again, it's a feature that I kind of like to have as sort of a must have on my range pants or any kind of work pant. So it's good to have that reinforcement here, but I gotta give it to the stone cutters for having a bit more reinforcement in this area. And then there's another pocket kind of in a weird spot right on the front on either side. It's weird having these tight pockets kind of right in front of you like this over the, uh, the main pocket of the pant, so to speak. On the 511s, they kind of had a similar pocket more on the back side where you kind of reach for a mag or something, but these are sort of at your, uh, your 1 and 11 o'clock, so to speak, if you were wearing these around your waist. I don't find myself using these too much if I'm not at the range, but they are just the right size for something like a pistol mag. If you have either a spare one or an empty one that you can carry around like that, and they actually do just barely fit an AR mag that I'm fitting in here. I'm not sure if I would recommend using this for like a a reload situation, kind of like how the stone cutters have the AR mag on the back side, which is a more natural reload position if you're used to carrying holsters on a belt. But nevertheless, these two extra pockets are here and they do actually fit mags pretty well. It's just something different for me personally to get used to because I'm used to drawing or reloading from the side. But nevertheless, they're there. They could be a good substitute for a dump pouch and they're actually deep enough to use something for, which like most of these pockets is good to have. So those round out our eight pockets on the front and sides of the pants. Then you have your two main pockets on the back side of the pants right here. Nothing special about those. Plenty good size like everything else on these pants in terms of pockets. Just pretty standard there. No little sub or hidden AR mag pocket in there, but just so you know, one will fit in there pretty nice. And while we're looking at the back of the pants here, there is something you can notice where there's a big seam that basically goes across the entire seat and sort of crotch region of the pants here. Most of the fabric of these pants is ripstop up and down the front of the legs and the pant legs themselves. But on the back side here is where you will see their STS material. It's a bit more of a flexible polyester, flex fit, stretchy material, kind of like how the 511s had going up the pockets. This is a nice feature to have because it makes sure these aren't unnecessarily tight in these particular areas. And if you're bending down, running, crouching, crawling, and all of that, you're gonna have a lot of flexibility in this area, which makes these pants very, very comfortable to wear for a long period of time. Whenever I wear these for work or a range day, that's usually a full day deal, 12, 13 hours or more, something like that. And these pants have always been super comfortable to wear throughout that whole time. They're definitely not winter weather pants or anything like that. Again, they're not really insulated or something, but they're definitely a comfortable and solid pant that I would recommend for a range or a sort of outdoor work type environment. Going up from there, the back pockets lead us to the belt loops. Now the 511 tactical pants, they might they had an abundance of belt loops around the back and the side. There might have been seven or eight of them. These Atlas pants only have five belt loops. You can see the two on the front right here, which are actually extra wide, and I'm quite a fan of having these up front. And then three slightly thinner ones across the back to give you support all the way around. Now there's not quite as many belt loops as the 511s, but as I mentioned in that video, half the time if you're wearing like a battle belt or something like that, like my Core Essentials belt, those extra loops around the sides kind of in like the two or three o'clock position can get in the way of a carry holster or a magazine holster. So you usually end up skipping them anyway. In this particular pants, I think they had that in mind. So belt loops in those particular spots, namely this area right here, have been omitted because you're probably gonna have something in the way. So I think that was some smart thinking by LAPG and the design of these pants. And it definitely works out. The lesser number of belt loops here is not a problem at all. They are a little bit thinner, I would have to say, than the stonecutter pants. But again, I've never had an issue with them. They're stitched pretty well, but the fabric itself is just like one thinner layer of ripstop. The 511 ones just seem to be a bit more substantial. But these front ones here are extra wide, and that's a good bit of support too, especially if you're carrying concealed. Another feature with the front belt loops 
is just another loop of ripstop fabric that you can see right here. I commonly use this to hook some gloves on me when I'm using these for work. And each one of these has one on the front side. So you have two more little loop attachments that kind of function as a nylon D-ring, or just a fabric D-ring rather, in addition to the ones that are in the front knee pockets. And I know I talked a little bit about 511 pants having a weird kind of mini secondary button on the inside. These pants don't have that, just has the one regular button. It's a nice kind of metal construction that's riveted into the pants. None of that like thin button thread or anything like that. Works great, fits great, no problem with that at all. And speaking of fit, I'll talk a little bit about how the sizing in these pants should or maybe shouldn't be considered. My jean size is a 3032, so that's how I ordered this particular pair of pants. And to say the least, they fit more or less true to size. I think 5'11 pants are a little more high-waisted than say something like a regular pair of jeans or even the stone cutters, but the 3032s fit me pretty well. They match my pant size and these fit accordingly. In terms of length, they're actually a, a hair longer than I think is really necessary, but if you're wearing different boots or you just don't want your pants being too short like I do, they actually fit pretty, pretty well. I know the 5'11s and the 32 inch length, that inseam was a tad short. This does not have that issue. And the 3032s, at least for me and my body type, fit pretty true to size. That being said, that's about it for the main overview of this particular pants here. They are primarily made out of the ripstop construction. And there's only one other spot where the fabric changes, and that is then the seat of the pants for their sort of flexible STS material. Unlike the stone cutters that have that sort of waterproof, extra abrasion resistant material on the front of the pant leg. Now these are still kind of Teflon coated to give you some stain resistance and some water resistance. And I will show a little clip here of the Range Day scientifically approved waterproofing test like I kind of had in the last video. And they do a pretty good job at that as well. Something else I should note is that these pants are just a hair thinner, I think, than the stone cutters, but overall they haven't really shown any wear and tear. I use these again primarily in my job where I'm outside a lot of the time in sort of an industrial or outdoor environment, and they work pretty well there. And I've also worn them for a handful of range days and I haven't had any problems with them. They do get a little hot, but they're definitely not cold weather pants. And that looks like it's gonna be it for the video today, guys. For my review on the Atlas Tactical Pants from LAPG with the STS Flex fabric in the back. I sort of came upon these when looking for a substitute for the 511 Tactical Stone Cutters, which I've sort of compared these two throughout the video, just because I couldn't find the Stone Cutters. They come in at around the 30 to $35 mark, which makes me think they're a pretty good comparison to the Stone Cutters. And that's another one of the reasons that I decided to do reviews on these types of pants. Of course, if you buy some sort of high-end range pant that's 80, 100, $150 or more, you're gonna get a solid product. But what out there is pretty good that's a bit more affordable? 511 Tactical Stone Cutter pants are about 30, 35 bucks. And these LAPG pants, I think I got right for 30 bucks with a coupon. So something in that price range is pretty accessible to everybody especially those just starting out. So I figured a review like this would be extra helpful for those that are interested in looking for a good set of range pants. It's definitely a piece of gear that isn't as flashy as a new optic or a slide work or something like that, but it's nevertheless something that's very important, especially if you're spending a lot of time on the range in outdoor conditions. And they can even do double duty if you work outside or in some sort of environment where a nice set of work pants is something that you need every day. So there's a little bit of extra value in something like this, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below. And if you have any questions about these Atlas pants from LAPG, maybe the stone cutters I've been talking about, or if you'd like to share about your own set of range pants that's your go-to, please leave it down below in the comments. We would love to hear from you. And as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel where every day is range day. Thank you for watching. Alpha 0.89. Alpha 0.89. Alpha 0.89. Computer ready. Stand by. Cool. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm putting like the, I'm putting like the bottom dish of that little dash kind of right on the A.